You know, we spoke a lot about the project as a whole, and, and Terry's character in the film is a comalg an amalgamation of two different people, uh, real life characters. So although the, Terry, Teresa Duncan, is named after an actual Teresa Duncan, the way that she's portrayed in the film is based on another woman as well. And just for cinematic reasons, they had to condense those two people into one character. And so a lot of it was Kevin and I sort of discussing a bit about how Terry, um, it will be different in the movie than she was in real life. But that also, you know, kind of, I think there's a very special dynamic between Nancy and Muhammadu, and Terry sort of acts as a little bit of relief, I think, um, to lighten some of the, the heavy fuse situations because she is just kind of a light and a lovely person and a kind person, and, and that's what we wanted to infuse into the story. I think Jody and I, what I really have come to respect and love about working with her is that she is just a professional. <laughs> you know, she thinks about everything. She's sort of meticulous when it comes to filmmaking. And I think because she is a director as well, she looks at stories, and perhaps she was this way before she was a director, but. I noticed that her perspective on stories and her perspective on character and kind of the overall scope of a project is very unique and very rare. He just brings a certain sense of grounding to not only the story but also to the set. He's super collaborative. He's always asking questions. Um, one thing that I really respect about Kevin and I've loved about working with him is that he, he's really good at directing. He's really good at saying how he feels and saying, I oh, don't no, that was too much, or that didn't feel right, or let's try it like this, or let's try it like that, let's do this. And um, I, have, I, just, I love working with directors who are vocal and who have a strong point of view, but who are also open to your point of view. And so it's been, I, f I just feel like it's been a beautiful opportunity for me to learn from some of the greatest that we have out there between Jody and Tahar and Kevin. I I feel like a student on this movie and um, and it's just exciting. It's really exciting to sort of be a part of it and also witness everything unfolding before me and take lots of notes. Well, I got to meet the real Mohamedou over Skype initially. Uh, and you know, I feel like before you even meet this man, if you have, if you read the book, if you watch the movie, if you um, read one article online, you feel the essence of his spirit so strong. And so before I even Skyped with him, I just knew how lovely he was. And I knew how um, special and how unique and um, radiant his spirit was because you feel that you feel that in the air that exists even around his name and the first time I skyped with him and his big smile came up and he said thank you for doing this movie and and it just it moved me so deeply because all I wanted to say to him was thank you for trusting <laughs> us to breathe life into this in a cinematic way um, his courage and his ability to forgive, his ability to love, his ability to truly be unconditional um, and remain patient and calm in what would drive, I think, probably 99% of humanity to a place that's uh, very different than the place that he's in emotionally and spiritually and psychologically. It takes a soul that's so strong and whatever whatever his life brings him for the rest of his life, he's here to move mountains, and he already is. The fact that he is able to be the man um, and show up as the man that he is today, he's changing the world. He is the man that I wish kids would study when they grow up in school. He is the man that I think people should research and read about and listen to because the wisdom that pours out of his smile, the wisdom that pours out of his words, it's a wisdom that's a lost art 
in today's world. It's a wisdom that, that says everything that every single ancient, religious, biblical, or institutional text has ever said, which is just be kind to one another, yeah. love your neighbor, take care of one another, forgive, show up. Um, he kind of strips back all the all of the distraction and chaos of consumerism and materialism and plants you right back down into the true seed of your soul. I'm so moved by how Tahar is is choosing to bring Muhammadu's character to life. He is I mean it's it's like watching um, live theater with him. He's so real and he's so vulnerable and he's so honest. Take after take after take and the amount of energy that he has to bring to every single moment and the the levels that, you know, as a human being we go from being really emotional to being extremely elated or whatever the varying degrees are and every single moment of that wave of emotion is um, portrayed through the way that he chooses to act.